Four days after eight-year-old Felipe Gomez Alonso died in U.S. Customs and Border Protection custody, new autopsy results show that the boy tested positive for the flu, with medical investigators still working to determine an official cause of death. Felipe, now the second migrant child to die this month in U.S. custody. Today, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen making a personal visit to the border after directing a series of protective measures, including secondary medical screenings for all children. Back in this one-room home in Guatemala, Felipe's mother said her son was healthy the last time she spoke to him, just before he crossed the border with his father. Nielsen making a plea to families like Felipe's. I once again ask, beg parents to not place their children at risk by taking a dangerous journey north. <laughs> Meanwhile, Felipe's family asking for closure. His mother saying, the only thing I want is his body back so I can bury him. An attempt to escape poverty, now overshadowed by pain. Kathy Park, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.